kindergartners. Welcome to our math review. That's where we talk about numbers. It's really fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to count to 10 using our fingers. Ready? Can you do that with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now freeze. What is ten? plus one. What number comes after 10? 10 plus one is 11. Can you make 10 again? What if I had 10 and two? 10 plus two, 10, 11, 12. 10 and two is 12. What about 10? Put up your 10. Freeze right there. What about 10? and three. 10 and three is 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. What about 10 and four? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10 and four is 14. What about 10 and five? 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What about 10 and 6? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 10 and 7. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <gasps> what about 10 and 8? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <gasps> okay, we're almost there. What about 10 and 9? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What about 10 and 10? <gasps> 10 plus 10. Let's start at 10. Ready? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 and 10 is 20. Thanks for counting with me. All right, my friends, I want to look at the numbers 0 through 10, and I'm going to write up on the board, so follow along as best you can. If I have the number 0, I don't have any dots. If I have the number 1, I have one dot. If I have the number 2, how many dots do I have? One, two. What about the number three? Yeah, one, two, three. What about the number four? One, two, three, four. What about the number five? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, look at that. Every time I have a number that's bigger, one more, I get one more. So there's zero, then one. Then that one drops down and I add one more and I have two. Then those drop down. I add one more and I have three. Then those three can come down and I add one more and I have four. Then those drop down. Four plus one is five. That's right. So zero plus one equals Zero plus one equals one. Yes. What about one plus one? 
1 plus 1 equals 2. Yeah. What about 2 plus 1? 2 plus 1 equals 3. Wow. What about 3 plus 1? I have 3. I add 1. I have 4. What about 4 plus 1? If I have 4 dots and I add one more, I have 5. Yes! There we go. So 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 equals 4. And 4 plus 1 equals 5. That is really fun. Now, kindergartners, I used some different math signs as I was doing this. I used a sign that looked like this. That is my addition sign. That means I'm going to add some numbers onto it. I'm going to make my numbers bigger. Then I used the number or a sign that looked like this. It was two lines. That is my equal sign. My equal sign, it just means the same as. So that just means the same as. Zero plus one is the same as just saying one. Yeah, it is an equal sign. It means they're the same on both sides. So with my equal sign, I want to do something with you. I want you to tell me if it is equal. If I say that I have one plus one, and I do my equal sign and say two, is that true? Does one plus one equal two? If I have one finger and I add another finger, do I have two fingers? I do, that is true, they are equal. What if I say one plus, uh, or sorry, what if I say two plus one equals three? Is that true? I have two fingers, I add one more, does that equal three? It does, I have three fingers, that is true, it equals. Now I'm gonna try to trick you. What if I said three plus one equals five? Is that true? Does three plus one equal five? If I have three fingers and I add one more, how many fingers do I have? One, two, three, four. So is this true? Does three plus one equal five? No, it doesn't. What does three plus one equal? It equals four. Now that is true. It equals good. Okay, one more thing with our equal sign. What if I have one plus one, and instead of writing the number two, I draw two circles. Does one plus one equal two? It does, yep. What if I just write the number three and I draw three triangles? Does three equal three? Yes, three triangles and the number three. That is the same. What if I draw the number four? I write the number four and I do equal and I say five. Is four the same as five? Are they equal? No, five is bigger than four. Look, four has one, two, three, four dots. Five has one, two, three, four, five. Five has more than four. Good job, kindergartners. You can do that with lots of things, and you can even do that at home. All right, I want to look at one more thing. I'm going to put some dots on the board, and I want you to help me figure out which one is more, which one is greater. So I have these ones. And then over here I have some. Which one has more? This one, that's right. How many are in there? Can you count them? 
One, two, three, four, five. How many are here? One, two, three. Which number is bigger or greater? Five, that's right. There are more in five, so five is the bigger number. It is greater. Let's do one more together. I'm gonna write some dots up here. Okay, how many dots are in this group? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many dots are in this one? One, two, three, four. Which one is greater? Which one has more? Six has more. Yes, it is greater. Six is a bigger number than four. Great job, kindergartners. Okay, that's all for our math review today. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, be counting while you're at home. Find some things to count. Count up to 20 or 50 or 100 if you can. Always practice counting and see if you can come up with some math stories like, I had three donuts for breakfast, then I ate one more for lunch. How many donuts did I eat all together? Four donuts! Oh, I have a bellyache. Okay, kindergartners, it was good to see you. I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye!